Hi, beautiful souls. If you're watching this video, that's good. That means that you are trying to live in your in. You want to manifest your wife and your husband, but you want to come from a place of having great self-concept. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Kimiana. Welcome. This is the Intuitive Soul Tribe. Here we talk about all things law of attraction, law of assumption, and mental health. So if those are your vibes, hit the like video below and sub and hit the gray bell so you do not miss any of my videos. I'm seeing you guys lots of love. Let's get into this. So on this channel, I'm talking about manifestation, but I also love talking about self-concept because self-concept is your super skill. It's your weapon. It's the thing that's going to help you get whatever it is you want in life. It's not just about love. But for most of us on this channel, that we are manifesting love, compassion, commitment, long lasting relationships. So what that means is you more than likely are leaning towards the labels, the labels of wife, the labels of husband, the label of baby daddy and baby mama. Okay? And so what that means is you need to actually think from your end in order to have these things. And what does your end look like in these situations? Well, you're going to have your husband. He's going to be known as your husband. You're going to have your wife and she's going to be known as your wife, but you're also going to have your own life as well, things and goals that you want to achieve. And so one of those things is making sure that you maintain a good self-concept, not only for yourself, but for the person you're married to. And so what that means is in order to have a self-concept and be able to live in your end, you got to put both in into the same boat. All right. So as you envision what it's like, to wake up to your partner every day. And as you envision what it's like to have kids with them and grow a life together, it's also important to realize that you you guys are still individual people. Although you're coming together for this union, you guys have your own wants and you have your own desires. And the beautiful thing about having someone to basically support you in these endeavors is that they will be there for you. They will uh, they will make you feel like it is great that you're in my life and I just want you to pursue all the things that make you happy, that make you who you are, that make you successful, loved, cared for, the list goes on, okay? And so with that being said, I want you guys to remember that there are always ways to improve yourself and there's always ways to improve your self-concept. All you have to do is believe you're capable. And what that means is when you wake up in the morning and you are doing your end or considering your end or visualizing your end or doing your robotic aff affirmations in your end, you want to know that, okay, my partner's in the bed right now. My partner loves me. My partner is drawn towards me. But on top of that, I am worthy. I'm worthy of this partner. Like I'm so worthy that I'm looking at him right now. I'm looking at her right now. And I'm thinking to myself like, wow, this happened. I did this. I created this. I manifested this person. They are my wife. They are my husband. And I am so happy. I feel so good. I feel like everything in my life is going exactly the way it should. And so what you do is you start actually pursuing what it feels like saying things in the instance of it's already done such as i am loved highly by my wife by my husband i am always getting all these compliments every day that they are grateful to be with me that they are glad that i'm with them that they want to be with me for the rest of their lives they are glad that i am the one they chose there's a reason i am this person's wife I, there's a reason that i am this person's husband i am their wife i and her husband because I was meant to be. This was always supposed to happen. I was supposed to be in this instant with them, living a life that we love and we care for. And so I'm just grateful. I'm grateful that this is another day I get to spend with the love of my life. I'm grateful that I am always able to tap into my own potential and feel that I'm enough because this person's with me. And the way they glance and look at me and envision me in this end, all I can think of, all I can feel is more secure and more safety of knowing that this person wanted me all along, that there was no doubt, no fear that I needed to have around the situation. It's just simply understanding I was enough. I was exactly what they wanted. And I know that because I am a powerful manifester. And every single day that I think of something I want, I get it. And I get it quickly. I actually get it so fast now. It's exciting. It's enticing. I wake up every day with my husband and guess what we do? whatever I want to do. If I want to spend the whole day with this person playing the video game, guess what happens? They play the video game with me all day. If I want to go out and go to a water park, we're getting dressed, we're putting our bathing suits on and we're gone. All right. I'm living a fairy tale. Literally. I'm living the best life that I could ever ask for. And you know why? Because I married my soulmate. Because I married who I know was going to love me, who I knew that I I manifest before I even really knew I was manifesting. And if I can do it, 
you can do it. And so how you do it is you wake up every day understanding that you are enough, that you matter. And this person knows it. That's why they're glad. They're literally looking at you in awe. Like, I want you to take a second, guys. Close your eyes for me. And I want you to envision that you are comfortable in your bed. Well, how do you, how do your feet feel? How do your legs feel under the blanket? Are they warm? Are they cool? How does it feel to put your arm on your person? How does it feel to touch their chest, to feel them right next to you? And I want you to think to yourself of what they're going to look like when they're waking up right next to you. That smile on their face, that glance in their eye of, oh my gosh, I'm really in this inn. I'm really here. I'm really loved. I'm really pursued. I'm really wanted. I mean, look at how she's looking at me. Look at how he's looking at me. Isn't it nice to see them smiling like you're a gold mine, like you're the best thing that ever happened to them? Now, I want you to think of them just talking to you, hear their voice as they say this to you. I am so grateful to be with you. I'm so happy that I get to wake up and see your beautiful face. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I love you so much. You can open your eyes now. How did that feel? Did it feel good? Did it feel amazing to wake up to your wife, to your husband? Did it feel good to know that you're going to have their last name, that you already have their last name? Did it feel like exactly what you dreamed it to feel? Well, it's going to be like that every day. But the only way it can be like that every day is by you training your mind of that end, of what it's like giving yourself that five second preview, giving yourself that 10 second preview of your story with your person and understanding that everything you think of yourself, that's what they think of you. That's the way they think of themselves. When you show up to the plate, when you're confident in who you are and what you bring to the table, they're confident and they're happy and they know what they bring to the table. And so Why wouldn't they marry you? Why wouldn't they want to wake up with you every day? Why wouldn't they want to have kids and grow a family with you? What are you thinking, huh? Are you thinking that you're worthy now? Are you understanding that it's always been you? It was not meant to be anyone else but you this whole time. And that's exactly what they say to you every day. While she's cooking for you, while you're prepping to get ready to go to work, guess what she's thinking about? She's thinking about what it's going to be like to hold you when you get back home. Guess what he's thinking about? He's thinking about you. He knows that throughout this whole entire work day, through all these things he has to do, he gets to come home to you. You were someone he thought was out of his league. You were someone who thought she, you, you thought you were out of her league. But guys, <laughs> what is there? You can't be out of this person's league because they chose you. This is your end. This is you waking up every day to the best person in the world, the person you would want to spend your in with, the person you want to leave this earth with. It's phenomenal, but you have to believe it and you have to wholeheartedly hold on to that and you have to show up every single day as that. So I'm going to say some affirmations. I want you guys to jot these down. If you need to rewind it, you can, but these are going to be self-concept affirmations that you can use as a person living in their end. Okay. And you are saying these affirmations in such a way that it improves your self concept while you're already married to your person. Okay. I am so happy and grateful that I get to wake up every single day next to this beautiful person. I am loved and valued highly by my wife, by my husband. I am meant to do big things. And she tells me this every day. He encourages me every single day, no matter what day we have together, to pursue my dreams. I am so happy that my wife looks at me every single morning in joy and glee that it's me sitting here next to her. My husband tells me all the time, how beautiful I am inside and out and how much he loves me and is drawn to me every single day. I'm so grateful that even though we've been married for quite some time now, it's still an exciting marriage. I'm so grateful.
that our love life continues to intensify every day. I'm so happy that my beautiful husband sees me exactly as he did the first day. My husband is literally all consumed and addicted to everything that has to do with me. I'm so sure of this love with my husband that I know he would never dream of cheating on me. I'm all he thinks about. I'm all he wants. <laughs> I'm literally the love of his life. And he doesn't just say that, he shows it. We wake up every day, we live these separate lives, but when we come together, it's like we never left. It's like we never had responsibilities or priorities outside of us. We're a team. And in this team, my husband continues to show me affection. He may not be able to vocalize it all the time, but his actions definitely show it. When he's with me, he doesn't look at it as soul outside of me. It's only me and him in the room. I am so grateful that my wife loves me enough to do the things that she knows would really, really, really warm my heart. I'm glad that my wife is there for me and supportive of all my dreams. It's wonderful knowing that not only do I feel capable of who I am and what I can achieve, so does she. I'm always enough. <laughs> I'm enough for her, I'm also enough for myself, and that's what she loves the best. She loves that I know how to love myself because it makes her more attracted and more drawn to me. Being able to wake up every single day next to my beautiful husband is a gift. And I'm grateful I have it. I went through a lot of things in this life, but the one thing God made sure to give me was them. And I can't thank him enough. Guys, I just gave you guys a list of affirmations and I did switch some of the affirmations from husband to wife, wife to husband. And the reason I did that is whether you're a man watching or a woman watching, I wanted you to be able to hear what that would sound like. What would these affirmations be for you when it comes to working on your self-concept and also focusing on your marriage? And if you enjoyed this, let me know in the comment section below, guys. If you guys are new and you made it this far, welcome. Sub to the channel. Hit the gray bell so you do not miss any of my videos. And like the video and comment what you liked about it, beautiful soul. You are now a soul gym if you made it this far. So welcome to the Intuitive Soul Tribe. And as always, guys, if you guys have not joined yet the VIP Soul Jimmy Lights group, you are definitely missing out. We go live every Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday in that group, and it is so much fun. We are filled with compassion, joy, love, and any question you have about manifesting gets answered in that group right away. You get priority responses to comments. You get access to all videos on my channel. And on top of that, we have 12 part series going over how to manifest your SP, how to get them obsessed, how to keep them, how to get spoiled and pursued. The list goes on. So if you want access to the 12 part series, access to all my videos before the public, then this is definitely a group you need to join. If you've been struggling with manifesting and you want to manifest your SP faster, you definitely should join. It's so much content, so many powerful affirmations in this group that if you don't join, you're just missing out on your greatness and how fast you really can achieve your goals. I do offer coaching guys. So if you need any coaching on manifesting, getting an SP, that's all available in the links below and you can book your time. I also do offer email coaching. So if you want custom affirmations tailored to your situation, along with some custom videos sent through email, that is there as well. I'm sending you guys so much love, so much light. And as I see you guys all the time to go get your boo. If you guys haven't already, get the Manifest Everything journal. That link is in the description below. In this journal, I have five powerful techniques that I use all the time to manifest my SP and it works. So if you have not got this journal yet, you are missing out. The links are in the description below. Okay, guys? Sending you guys so much love, so much light. And as I always say... Go get your food. Bye.